Hello again. I, uh, I remembered something. I know that we had stopped in a puzzle here, which is loading. But, uh, I remembered that after restoring my save file, I hadn't gone and revisited some of the things that I saw before. Why is the game lagging so much? Maybe it's still compiling shaders or something. Okay, no, that's, that's really not supposed to be lagging this much. Okay, uh, maybe it's fixed now? No? Okay, well now it seems okay. Strange. I, I saw on the support form that it compiles shaders and such while it's initially launching. Uh, right. There was stuff that we found to the right of the bridge. And I think that when I restarted my checkpoints after breaking the game, uh, I did not revisit those things. So let's go do that real quick. And then we'll go back to that puzzle. Yeah, this is one of the things. Whether it is true that Daedalus constructed the giant Talos, or as others say he was the creation of Hephaestus, what we may be certain of is that he was made of bronze and had but one vein, within which flowed a liquid substance like blood, which some claim was quicksilver, and others assert was ichor, such as flows in the veins of the gods. The loss of that liquid caused him to die, as a man dies when he loses his blood. May we not then say that Talos, though created as a machine or a toy, had all the Did I not notice that last time? Man. Excuse me? He moved. That was just sitting there. Mission. He spoke and could be spoken to, had wishes and desires. Indeed, in the tale of the Argonauts, that was the cause of his downfall. If then a machine may have all the properties of a man, and act as a man while driven only by the ingenious plan of its construction and the interaction of its materials according to the principles of nature, then does it not follow that man may also be seen as a machine? This contradicts all the schools of metaphysics. Yet even the most faithful philosopher cannot live without his blood. There we go, so we got those things again. I can't remember if I got that spark last time, or that flame or whatever. I think it was a flame, right? Yeah, I have three flame tokens. I, I, if I got it last time and I forgot, well, blame it on me breaking the game and being totally distracted by that. Oh, butterfly. That's an interesting way for a butterfly to fly, in my opinion. Maybe just because I have a little graphics on? Oh, it disappeared. Huh, I guess it's like a, some kind of particle effect or something. Ah, uh, no, we need red, actually. <laughs> hmm. How is that going to work? How is that going to work? I guess I need to connect it up in advance? I mean, I can do that, right? Oh, I can just do that. Yeah, okay, I see now. Yeah, I basically have to trap myself in here in order to, in order to do this. There we go. Problem solved. Alright, so that's all the puzzles, I think. Now we just need to do that secret. This one up here. I'm pretty sure this will give us a star. 
So that needs a green signal. And I think there's not very many puzzles we can get green from. And then there's also that plaque that has the numbered puzzles on it. And there's also a cube that we can break out of that one triangle puzzle loop. And I don't know how to... I don't know how all those all relate together, but I guess we'll find out. Nothing green in there. Yeah, this is the plaque I was talking about. I don't think there's anything green in here, but I'll just double check. Yep, no lasers in here at all, actually. Question is, how would I actually see anything through all of the um through all the trees? That's quite a distance, isn't it? Quantum tunneling. Does this one involve? I don't think it does. Yeah, no lasers in here. This is just introduction to the driller. I think this one has green in it, right? No. Oh, it's still in the solved state. That's interesting. So, puzzles remember that they're in the solved state, and you can also reset them to the unsolved state. I wonder if that'll ever be relevant, or if it's just a thing that you can do, because why not? Like, I don't know if it'll ever be part of a secret, the fact that you can have a puzzle in a solved or unsolved state. Oh, how did I not notice this? That is very obviously something that I need to work with right there. Yeah, and this is where we can get green from, so I just need to solve this one again, which... Oh, it's actually kind of easy now because the puzzle's in the solved state. Interesting. Yeah, look at that. Oh wait, there's another connector there. That simplifies things a lot, actually. Yeah, so where does that go? Is 3 one of the puzzles that was on the plaque? Probably is. If I had to guess. That might be our hint as to how to handle all of this. Ooh, look at that. Maybe it was already connected, and I just didn't notice. No, three is not one of the ones on the plaque. Okay, so it's a separate thing. Now, what do we do with this? Maybe something in this one? Were there even any connectors in here? Oh yeah, this is the one I just did, isn't it? Ooh, I need to go a little bit further back, I guess. There we go. Did it! Saw one when Pandora the monument. Man picked up the first stone. He did not do so to forge a tool. He did so to smite his brother. So then, what's the deal with this one? Two, four, seven, and eight. What do they have in common? Okay, let's just check those puzzles out and think about things. Is there even anything on this that would 
have any indications for me. I mean, it's got the circle ring behind it, so maybe it's the driller? But then, if so, in what way would I be using that to my advantage? But you can only use them on specific walls. Well, anyway, let's go to puzzle two and find out. You know, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna note this down, actually. Two, four, seven, eight. Wait, one notepad. There we go. Two, four, seven, eight. Yes. Now I have a reminder in case I forget. Alright, the gate. I don't think we can do anything with the gate just yet, though. But we haven't found the gate yet, so we should probably do that first, actually. Just in case. Because I don't think I've seen it. I don't know where it is. This is like a central area where I hadn't found it yet. Is it correlated with the triangle puzzles? I think so. Can't remember exactly. Definitely seems like there's gonna be another puzzle inside of it at least. Oh yeah, look at that. There's definitely a puzzle inside there. Two, four, seven, eight. And I'll get a box, because why not? If I can remember where that one secret puzzle is. Is it this one? Maybe. I'm glad that there is sprinting in this game, because there is so much walking around. Yeah, here we go. Excuse me. Thank you. I have my box again. So we're near 8, right? Right, it's not gonna show my compass right now because I have to enter and leave a puzzle first before my compass reappears. What can we see from here that might be advantageous for us? I know that we can use the, uh, the driller through these purple barriers. Since we've already done this, we can just undo that. Right, I just need to set this up again. There we go. somewhere over there, right? I don't remember exactly where it is. It's near the green laser thing, right? This this really has like unlimited range. Like you can see the reticule way off in the distance there, even on the trees and such.
Well, let's see, we've got blue, red, and jeweler, and eight. Let me actually write that on my notes here. Blue, red, jeweler, eight. Alright. Where was seven again? This is seven. Okay, so the- this puzzle was reset, but it's still in the solved state. I mean, the, the position of the thing's reset, but it's still in the solved state, so that's good. to see how that would happen. Oh! Isn't this interesting? Alright, let me- let me note this down. So Seven has... Blue... Ruler... And we can smuggle... We can smuggle stuff out, okay? Interesting. Oopsie. Yeah, okay. So... Wait, how does that help me, though? Can I get back in there? Cause, like, uh... Oops. Probably wanted to smuggle something else out. But I can take the box out, I could also take other stuff out. Uh, what if I put that? Can I jump from here? No. Uh, I've- I've done- I've done messed things up. Yeah, no, that's, uh, hmm. Oh well. Let's go check out the other puzzles then, and see what we can see from those. Another one of these things. I wonder... What happened if I pointed a driller at that? Doesn't seem to do anything. What about a connector? Also, no. Okay. I do not know what those are. Maybe that will be revealed to me at a later time. Yeah, no inscriptions. Not this one.
Alright, what can we see from this one? We have... Yeah, we have Red and Driller, right? And that's it. On a... Jammer, too, right? Wasn't there a Jammer in this one? Yes, here it is. But no connector. So I'm not gonna note down the red because, uh, I don't think... I don't think we can use a connector in this one, so... The red's useless to us. Side of the puzzle shenanigans. Alright. Driller and Jammer. Okay, what can we jam from here? If anything. Up the... Wait! <laughs> okay. Well, I guess we figured out what to do now. There's just a switch behind this sign. Alright, let's go to number four now and see if that's also the case. They might not all be hidden that simply. Yep, there's a switch right there. Okay, okay. Now for seven and eight. Does this sign update at all, I wonder? Is it a bit more glowy than usual? Or was it always like that? Miss that. <laughs> I am so glad I noticed that. I did it! Something, which we're gonna find out momentarily here. What's the point of breaking Every these boxes leads out, though? To another question. The last answer leads to the first question. So now I have three of each. Three flame tokens and three stars. But what's the point of being able to break out a box from loop? And also, Eye of the Needle lets you break out pretty much anything. You can either... Well, yeah, you can break out everything, actually, from Eye of the Needle. Like, you can break out the, uh, the box and the driller and the connector. Of course, the jammer is trapped, but... What's... what would I need those for? Because I haven't seen any puzzles that need outside influence. I mean, I guess it would make things easier if you could break the puzzles like that, but... Huh. I don't know. Interesting. Really? Oh, this is already going wrong. Right, I forgot I could select which pieces I wanted. <laughs> Let's start with this one for now. Hmm. 
Will that work? Aha. What? Oh, this is, uh... <laughs> this interface was not designed with uh, holding a box in mind, I don't think. Uh, what did I even do? No. I just needed to walk all the rest of the way to this middle island here. Is there even anything on this middle island, or is it just middle island? I'm not seeing anything in particular here. Alright. That's no good. That's better. Oh yeah, that's much better. Look at that. All the pieces fit together. I bringeth you a box to appease you for intruding. Creature of clay, you have strayed from your garden and entered a domain that is beyond your ken. Turn back now, before you harm yourself and others. Prometheus had no authority to summon you. He is rash and foolish and given to trickery. But his schemes lead only to ruin. Therefore heed my warning. The flame is not for you. Your desire to protect your city is commendable. But you must remember that knowledge leads to temptation. Me a lot of the witness, doesn't it? I think that was Pandora, which matches the other one being Prometheus. They seem to be locked in some kind of conflict. Might be wise to avoid getting caught in the crossfire until we understand what these entities actually are. That whole laser animation definitely reminds me of the witness. Good game, you should play it too if you like this game. Not not too fond of the creator personally, but the game is pretty good. Can't enter vehicle while carrying something. <laughs> oh, what a wonderful message to see. They expected this. Now, the question is, can I still do this? Because the game did update, right? Wee! <laughs> that is so much fun. I don't know why that works like that. Anyway, let's let's leave this place. I think we've gotten everything here.
Yep, can't do the gate yet on any on any yeah on any of these. Haven't I? Nothing else is unlocked, huh? Can I go back to the starting area? What am I supposed to do now? The mythological Prometheus was a trickster, and it seems his holographic equivalent has similar tendencies. These sparks seem designed to allow us to skip puzzles, a function which appears to run counter to whatever intent there is behind this place. Still, the terminals for using them are right there in the puzzles, so Prometheus must have some legitimate authority in all this. Sparks can be recovered by properly solving the puzzles. Uh, yeah, not helpful to me, though. Oh, they put this in, in my log for me. Nice. I didn't have to write it down at all. I can actually close that document now. Nope, don't save. The long-awaited birth of our 1,000th and final citizen was interrupted today by an unknown projection in the skies. Hey, the birth wasn't interrupted, it was the ceremony afterwards that was interrupted. The projection, which identified itself as Prometheus, goaded New Jerusalem inhabitants in indecipherable incantations. The source of the projection was tracked to a remote, mysterious island. A team led by Byron is now en route to find out more. Other areas of the projection include Alcatraz, Melville, Yakut, and 1K. Mayor Hermanubis. Hermanubis, <laughs> that's a name, has once again called for calm and promises that New Jerusalem will be safe so long as its citizens do not forget the ideals of the goal as set forth by the Founder. Hi everyone, this is the latest in my portrait series. I have always had a deep respect for the progenitor, Alexandra Drennan. She didn't just create the Founder and save humanity, she also tried to instill us with a sense of beauty and wonder. It was good to be human, Alexander Drennan. As usual, please keep in mind that we should focus on engagement with the work. Don't ask yourself whether it's good or bad, but how it makes you feel. Beautiful work, Rodaman. Uh, Rodam, I guess. I'm not sure how to pronounce that word. Or name, rather. Gives me a better sweet, wistful feeling. She must have been a great person. To me, it really captures her bravery in the face of what the cosmos had thrown at her. It's well done, but I'm not sure it's appropriate for us to depict the progenitor in this way. Fair, fair. It still says I have one new thing in research, but what is it? I think it says one. What did I get, though? Oh, right, I didn't open this yet. An armored war machine invented by ancient humans used to kill other humans and destroy infrastructure. Despite their crude appearance, great ingenuity went into the creation of these despicable machines. Uh, where am I supposed to go, actually? Search for schematics in a lab. Didn't I do that already? Was there multiple terminals in that lab? Did I miss- did I miss one? That's my- my current theory is that maybe I missed another terminal in there or something. Cause it did say it was bigger than usual. I think I was- wait. Is it because I do restart checkpoint? Because I fell in the... I hope not. Hmm. Well, I'll go double check. Where was it again? Here we go. Oh, this terminal! <laughs> I went to the upstairs terminal and completely missed this one. Okay. The Origins of Thought. 
a fragment from Stratton's The Origins of Thought as quoted in a commentary by Simplic Simplicius of Sicilia. Oh no, Cilicia. There we go. Stratton. To say that material things are brought into being by ideas is to flatter ourselves, which is an error philosophers are particularly prone to, because it raises those who think above those who do. Then what is the truth that does not flatter? Says Nukumakas. Stratton says, the reverse, sorry, that the reverse is true. Ideas are brought into being by matter, and so each man's ideas are shaped by the world that surrounds him, as clay is shaped by its mold. Those who live in mountains fear cold, those who live in deserts fear thirst. The Athenians are shaped by Athens and the Lacid Lacedaemonians by Sparta. And likewise, it is for all peoples. Nicomachus. But may ideas, if we take each man to be an idea, not by deliberate action, alter the shape of the mold, as you put it? Stratton. To discover a method for accomplishing this is the chief purpose of philosophy, my friend. Footnotes. The newly discovered Heraclian manuscript, like the lost part of the Baroque collection, contains an additional passage that differentiates between Numa, between uh, Numa, the individual mind or spirit, described as an energy arising from matter, and ideas, which are produced by the Numa as it interacts with the material world. And there's some comments here. Philosophy is useless if it offers no way of changing things. At least Stratton tried, and didn't lie to himself. How can we change the shape of the mold? Stratton never says. Perhaps by demonstrating the fact that other shapes are possible. We can't change it all ourselves, but perhaps we could, like Alexander Drennan, create the conditions for change. Duima Project 3. More version history about the trials. Was the yep, reversion to previous settings fixed a small function, but what was the error? Cooling systems, and cooling systems improved. New lab space carved out. Easy to destroy, harder to create. So easy to optimize only one aspect. See, that's the thing about the driller, is how does it... How does it create and destroy the, the matter or whatever? Like, it's quite an unusual device in terms of real-world physics, you know? This is supposedly the real world, after all. Insufficient, in insufficient energy for trials. Okay. Yep, yeah, more energy problems. Uh, excuse me? The world is a wonderful place. Every day we take another step forward. Every day we come closer to the truth. The closer we get, the more I can see the beauty of the universe. The intricate perfection of its mechanisms. I am a machine, and the universe is a machine. Every part of me serves a purpose, or I could not be myself. I could not be Miranda, because that specific person could not exist without those specific parts and their specific functions. In the same way, every part of the universe serves a purpose. I think that is what we were meant to discover here. Overload. 1K. You just connected to an extremely powerful data stream. Are you all right? Yes, you were streaming. We all saw something. You're lucky it didn't fry your motherboard. Please, everyone, let's be careful with these terminals from now on. Yes, let's all try not to die. More importantly, who the hell is Miranda? There's no one by that name in New Jerusalem. I just searched the database. A new person. Someone we've never heard of before. Someone born outside the city. We have to find out more. But where did they come from? And how many people does it take to build something this huge? Like I said, we need to find out more. Well, 
You'll be happy to hear that I'm about to fix another part of the transport system. Thanks for the files, Wonke. I hope they didn't fry your brain. Yep. Well, that answers the transport system question I had. <laughs> I just missed that terminal is all. Now, we can finally go to a new area, I suppose. After Wong Kei found those labs, I started thinking. Where did all the tech come from? So I had a look at the serial numbers, and it turns out the answer is... New Alexandria. Oh. Wow, that... I, I guess that makes sense. After the explosion, the colony was abandoned. Nobody ever went back for all that stuff. We had enough to deal with. So many dead. So that's one question answered. But how did they go from scavenged Alexandria tech to all this? How did we go from nothing to where we are now? Through the application of reason and the right tools. That's ominous. Look at the size of that structure. How does the material support so much weight? Is it the same stuff as the other buildings? Yeah. I know it looks like some type of concrete, but the molecular structure is completely different. Whatever it is, it's a lot stronger and less brittle. Are the labs made out of the same material? No, that's just ordinary concrete. Although, it does have some molecular weirdness going on, too. Too little variation in the grain. Interesting. Oh, we've got another one of these connected laser beams above us. For anyone who missed it, Byron's expedition has recovered evidence of the existence of another person, someone not from New Jerusalem. Who could this be? What does this mean? Maybe there's another city out there. Who says there's only one simulation? Maybe there's thousands of people we've never met. I really hope so. There's only one founder. I hate to agree with... Thecla, but all the historical evidence we have points to that conclusion. There were some other attempts, but as far as we know, they all went wrong or failed. There's more that we don't know than there is that we know. That sentence is going to make my brain crash. Why do we think Miranda is from Earth? There's no evidence to support that idea. I'd like to hear more about these other attempts to save humanity. Some people affiliated with the Institute for Applied Nomadics tried to set up a secondary site at another dam, but after about a century, the dam collapsed and took whatever was happening inside that system with it. Ooh, that was Elohim's fear in the, in the first game. There was also a similar attempt by another organization, but without the test of free will that Alexander Trin had devised. According to Lefrazir, it never produced a viable mine before it ran out of power. Would there still be others out there? Theoretically, yes. But even our dam would have collapsed without extensive repairs. Even a nuclear power plant would have run out of fuel by now. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright. Two more stars to find here. Makes sense. That seems to be the, the, uh, the quota for each area. 
a lab. Gold puzzle that we can't really do anything yet. Lost puzzles, two of them make sense. And yeah. So, we have a formula now. Tell me, what did you make of New Jerusalem? I didn't even explore it yet. <laughs> it does look very grand, doesn't it? We had such ambitions in the beginning. But if you look closely, you'll notice the cracks. The places where it's all starting to fray. We've lost faith in ourselves, in our humanity. All we need to do now is finish that dome and we'll be trapped in our perfectly neat little tomb. Of course, ask away. I'm someone who was born a long time ago, when we couldn't afford to romanticize the past and demonize progress, when the value of human civilization was evident because it was so close to being gone. I'm someone who believes that human beings are important, terribly, desperately important, because intelligent life is rare and precious. I suppose you could say I'm old-fashioned. It's clear that there's some kind of antagonistic force in this place, something that doesn't want us to discover the purpose of the megastructure. Perhaps that's part of the testing. Or perhaps it's what's responsible for this state of decay. It's a mystery. Not just because it's technologically far ahead of us, but because we genuinely don't understand its purpose. And I think that's wonderful. It's just what we needed as a civilization. Talk to each member of your team. Hey, Team Spirit Achievement. Yeah, no way I'm walking up on that roof. I like the beam connects to something over there. I'm guessing that pillar right there under my crosshairs, or, well, the dot in the center of the screen. Oh, wow, there is a lot of land area to explore here. What is this one, then? Oh, this looks like a gold puzzle. That looks like a ladder, doesn't it? I wonder what this is supposed to be for. Hey, that looks like Tiasu's avatar, you know? The the musician Tiasu? T-I-A-S-U, I think it's spelled. Or maybe the fat rat. Uh, one of the two. It looks like their their avatars profile pictures, you know. Something making a strange sound in there. Hmm. Is that a double doubled up barrier? Huh. Well, at least we know where this is.
Did something break? Yes, but I'm not liking the results. Confusing, irritating, infuriating. Take your pick. All right, there's eight. I want to find the triangle puzzles first, as I usually do. Oh, there's already a hole placed there. Here we go, this is the triangle puzzle. Hmm. Reconnected. Uh, yeah, and the hole's reopened. Interesting. Inverter? Excuse me? Was that bird timed just now for that, or... Why else would that bird sound happen? That's strange. Um... What am I supposed to do here exactly? Maybe I need to connect it to that one as well? No? Alright, I guess I need to... Just put this on the button for now, I suppose. So I can actually get in here and take a proper look around. Why is this simple everywhere here? Oh, there are birds flying over me. That's why I keep hearing that sound. Right, that just punches holes. Which... Uh, I guess I can do this, right? But why would I want to? Like, what's over here? Yeah, that's quite unclear to me as to why I would want to do that. Uh, let's just take this in here for now, I guess. I'm just gonna turn this blue. Hmm. Oh, I can do that one, that's right. That's what it means I pre-connected. There we go. Now we can do this. Oh, right. Well, isn't that just... amazing? How do we get an angle on this, then? Yeah, I can't get an angle on that at the same time as this... ...without using the hole punch. Now 
obviously can't take that through there at all. How does this help us, though? Also, what's the inversion of green? Is there a yellow? If so, how does that work with the RGB ones? regardless of that one's state. I know that this exists, but like... Not, I'm not clear on how we should use it. thought I have right now. Yep, okay, that was it. managed to extract an audio file from 1K's data stream incident. It's hard to be sure, because it's just a fragment, but I think it's some kind of log or diary. We finished a new lab today. Some processes are still harder than others, but energy output was up 2,000%. That voice sounds younger. It's incredible how each leap forward enables another. The next iteration of the machine will... So, as we suspected, someone was experimenting here, but experimenting on what? What was this machine they were building? Maybe it's whatever powers the megastructure. Alright, well, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next episode.